Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. Last time, I believe we were in the midst of a bunch of drama. Uh, we were. We were in the midst of a bunch of drama. I'm yes, totally, by the way. Yes, yes she is. Um, I'm the alchemical rabbit. Did I say that already? Nope. Okay. <laughs> you just were Listen. like, screw it, we're going straight into it. <laughs> Listen, folks, if you're here for episode, I think this is like 12 of this... I think that's. I think we've had more than twelve episodes. I don't know. I don't know if you're one of the very few people. Very few people. Last I looked at the last episode, no one had viewed this. Um, it's all right. It's all right. If you're one of those very few people, you know who we are at this point. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get moving with it. Fair enough. As I look back at her, at Hiromi, she still has that sullen look on her face. What what what's wrong, Hiromi? I hate the rain. The tone of her voice sounds extremely flat. I hate the rain. You let this speak up. I hate the rain. They get it. Okay. I just meant in the future. It reminds me of certain things. She looks out the window as waves of cold droplets fall to the earth. Don't you hate the rain too? I, I, I am ambivalent. She looked towards me. She looks towards me with sad eyes. That wasn't the right answer. You can no longer boink her. No! I envy you at times. You seem so unbothered by things. Like precipitation. Mieko scolds you and you shrug it off. You never worry about your studies. How do you do it? Do you just not feel anything? Are you a sociopath? Yes. Oh, okay. But I feel things more than you think. Then, how do you hide it so well? Please, tell me. How do you do it? Why do you want to hide how you feel? Why are you talking like Shatner again? Because we're getting dramatic. <laughs> oh, I see. Because I'm hurting. And I don't want Mieko to see how badly I hurt. I'm supposed to be the reliable one. Gradually, she slumps down on the wall. I feel like the illustrations are not portraying the emotion they are going for. Uh, that is true, yes. Mm. I'm supposed to be the one who keeps her cool. So just so we get... As I stand here with my back arched and my boobs out. I was gonna say, so they're the equivalent for sliding down the wall, like in an emotional state, is turning to the right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever thought that friends depend on one another? Stop it. Just talk in your normal voice. I... S we lean on each other, not just one person. <laughs> you can lean on me if you need to. <laughs> Absently, she turns to look to me. Do you really mean that? Of course, I mean it. You're my friend. If you need help, <laughs> I'll gladly give it to you. Then you should know more about what I'm dealing with. Here is now my backstory. I told you that I visited my mother, my Okasan. Hiromi struggles to say what comes next. She's in the hospital right now. It's cancer. <gasps> The big C. But it's a lowercase c. It should be a big C. The big uppercase C. See, I can say it. Capital C cancer. Oh, it all makes sense. Now. It is a struggle. She always looks so down every time she arrived late at training. She has a tumor in her breast. No, not in her breast. I have a feeling those are very important in this family. If you or your loved ones have struggled with breast cancer, I apologize for any and all jokes I am going to make through this. It is a serious disease, it should not be joked about, but I am a horrible person. They're preparing to conduct surgery, but they don't have high hopes for her recovery. Whenever there's a rainy day, she just stares at it as it pelts against the window in her room, seeing her face as she stares at the rain. I, I actually don't know, if someone has breast cancer, are they like relegated to a hospital? 
Maybe depending on how severe it is. I mean, I thought if it was just in the breast, it would be like, well, that that's horrible and it's life threatening. But can't she just? I, I don't know. Like, I, I genuinely don't know. Can't somebody just like they can't just keep living? Or is like the chemo too much, and that's the problem? Uh, I don't. Know. I honestly don't know. I. It's getting too deep, man. It is too deep. It is. I hate it. I hate the rain. I hate that it reminds me of her staring out of that window. She looks out at the balcony again. I visit her every day, but she looks that little bit. But whoa, whoa! She looks that little bit worse every time she okay, sees Okay, I her. wasn't misreading that. No, I that's, was like, that is a sentence. That's okay. a proper sentence. But she looks that little bit worse every- it shouldn't be like- I- She visits her every day, but she looks that little bit worse every time That's I see her. That's an awkward sentence. It, the, but the, it, it, is is it, it is grammatically, like, makes sense, though. Okay, fine, fair enough. She's withering away, slowly. One day, when I go to the hospital, she's no- she'll no longer be there. Unless the surgery is successful, and then it goes into remission, and it'll be okay. Well, not okay, but, you know, you still have to be concerned, but... It'll be better. Like, you're making this really hard to be funny about. Dad hasn't left her side for a single day, either. Okay, she actually has a father. We're dirt poor because no one works in my family anymore. I, maybe Japanese, like, insurance covers that. Maybe. I mean, that'd be awesome. He insists that I just try to keep living my life. But how can I do that when I know that my mother will be gone any day? I'm assuming it's, like, severe... It must not just, it must metastasize to somewhere else, then. I think it can spread, you know? Oh, I know it can, but, I, like, if it's just in her breast, I, it's it was, threatening, but I didn't think it was, like, that bad until it went somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know. I am not, I am not that kind of doctor. You're a doctor? I'm not that kind of doctor, that's for sure. You, are you a kind of doctor? We'll find out someday. Oh, okay. And I probably won't be there to say goodbye. For a moment, I struggle to find a response. I'm sorry. She tackles me and wraps her legs around my chest. That's at arms. Please, just hold me for a moment. Please, I just want someone to hold me. And tell me that everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. I know it's selfish, but please, I'm begging you. I wrap my arms around her and hold her tightly towards me. Everything's going to be fine, Hiromi. I swear that everything will be fine. <laughs> well, th thank you. I, I really needed to hear someone say that. She remains there in my arms, sobbing quietly into my shirt. I'm, I'm sorry, Kaede. I don't want things to get strange between us. Absolutely not. It's fine, Hiromi. If you ever need someone to give you a hand, I will be there. Do you really mean that? No matter what happens, you'll be here for me? I will be. Thank you. She looks out beyond the balcony. What the hell? <laughs> Speaking of breast cancer, I don't know. Um, well, you remember earlier I was talking, like, they went out in the rain, she was wearing a white shirt, so... this had Where to... are her nipples? Uh, you can tell that the area covering them are not wet enough to be transparent. Translucent, I as it would I, be. I see, I see. Yes. I, I won't be able to leave for a while. You know, on the account that my shirt's falling open and it's soaking wet. Whoa! Suddenly. Whoa! Very whoa. suddenly. I mean, we were out in the rain and I looked totally dry and normal, but now clearly just... Out. Oh, no, this is from her tears. Oh. That's why. Oh, okay. It was rain repellent, but not tear. It's the salt water. Oh. Wringing out her hair, great streams of water raced down her boobies onto the floor. <laughs> my floor! <laughs> this is a hardwood bamboo floor. This cannot be good for it. Like, I don't know what rainwater does to bamboo flooring, but it cannot be positive. <laughs> I shouldn't have stood out in the rain like that, like an idiot. Why aren't you wearing a bra? I mean, who wears bras? Uh, women with those breasticles. Oh. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? If you're a woman with those breasts and you don't wear a bra, please leave a comment. 
Yes, please. <laughs> All of the water. Why, why did our school uniform have to be white? Why, God? Why? It's... It's... I can see it. I'm assuming... It, because I assume this is a censored version, and I feel like her nipples should be there. Oh, yeah. Um, so I assume the it is her nips. <gasps> Both of them. Yep. So round. <laughs> and pointy. Gah! Why am I thinking like that? Because you're a horny high school boy. Horny high school boy? If that chick walked in on you, you'd be paying attention. Well, yeah, because I'd be like... Gosh, why isn't she wearing a bra and maybe she shouldn't wear a white shirt? Yeah, really, that, that's where you'd be going with yeah. that thought? Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. I'd be judging hard. <laughs> Something would be hard. But she looks really my pretty. Dick. Yes, your dick would be hard. <laughs> oh, okay. That's my point. <laughs> I see. She's an innocent child. She looks really pretty right now. Kaede? Is, is uh, something wrong? I, I don't understand why you're looking at me like that. Is it because of my boobs and how I'm pressing them together and lifting them up and, you know, possibly you're seeing a nipple? Not that uh, we're seeing a nipple. Uh, what, what about my clothes? Even though you didn't say uh, anything. If, if you leave those clothes on, you're going to catch a cult. You're going to have to take them off. That, that doesn't bother me. I have the greatest immune system, which is why the fact that my mother has cancer is so hard for me, because I have never been sick in my life. Does it come with the albino thing? Yes. Oh. I, I really haven't been composed around you at all. Something about you just... Just what? Gets my jimmies rustling. <laughs> jimmies rustling. <laughs> Nothing. Don't it's, wrestle it's those nothing. jimmies, folks. When you joined the swim, swimming club, I thought you weren't going to show up. Yeah, mm hmm So many people just passed by and we never saw them again. I said I would stay. Okay. What good is a person who doesn't keep their word? Well, I don't know. You... You're, you're pretty, like, bad at everything else, so... Hey! Well, you, you have... You're bad at studying. I'm bad at YouTube. You're not bad at YouTube. If I didn't stay, your club would have been disma disbanded. So you stay out of a sense of duty? Heh, <laughs> duty. Well, well, that's that's not the only reason. It's because you both have great tits. I like swimming, quote-unquote, <laughs> especially with you and Mieko. So, uh, so Is that so? She wanders over to the balcony doors. To get more what? Good, I wouldn't want you to stay simply because you felt like you had to. As she looks out towards the horizon, streaks of orange emerge from it. It's the enemy fleet finally making planet fall. <laughs> no, Vermilion! The sun is setting now. It looks like the clouds are breaking. And that the trains are passing. They always do, Hiromi. No rain, no matter how miserable, always stops eventually. God, the dialogue hurts. It's like, it's so bad. I mean, like, at least with the other girl, she's, you know, being just like, oh, I had a really bad falling out with my high school friend because she got into an accident and she blamed us. And uh, now when you wake up, I'm going to be in my panties because um, I stayed the night. But overall, the actual dramatic part was, you know, clothed properly. And now, would you please stop it? <laughs> um... Now, it's like, she's having this big dramatic moment, um, talking about I'm how her mother has breast cancer, and... These are the breasts, by and, the way. Yes, those are the breasts, <laughs> thank you. And then it's just like, and, you know, white see-through shirt. It's not even that, that's not what bothers me. I get it's a dating sim, it's the empty platitudes of like... The sun always comes out, like... That. Well, yes, that's a little ridiculous, too. I just feel like it's... I don't know. Yeah. Are you picking her nose? Yes. <laughs> that is true. I can see a small smile right here, forming on her face. Well, the rain is gone and my clothes are dry enough. Are they? Because they look soaking wet. Good for me. I'm going to go home now. I will see you tomorrow, Kaede. 
See ya. Quietly, she takes her coat and wraps her... And she takes her coat and wraps her around her shoulders. <laughs> one, one last thing, Kaede. Yes. Never forget your kindness. It's your only... Only redeeming quality. <laughs> that is true both in real life and in the game. She leaves without another word as she slips through the front door. It is not your only redeeming quality. That's true, quality. folks. I have no kindness. I have no redeeming qualities. <laughs> I hope that she will be okay. Dots out the butt. Ah, we're back to swimming. And we are, it's Sakura Swim Club. We, it all comes back. It, it'll be the first time I've seen Mieko and Hiromi since I had those dramatic moments with them. I'm not really sure what to expect. But both those girls laid their feelings in front of me, making themselves completely vulnerable. It must have been a huge step for them to take. I know I said to my dad that I didn't want to date anyone, but I can't help but feel like we're all more intimate with each other now that I've seen them nude. When I saw both of them nude like that, it really got my dick hard. <laughs> to my relief, both of them walked through the door with a smile on their faces and nothing else. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Kaede. Kaede. Both of them are very happy to see me. How have you been? I uh, can't complain. What about you two? Is everything all We're gonna do the small talk. Is everything hunky dory, <laughs> ladies? <laughs> eh, it's been great lately. Same. Remember, remember boys. One night of empty platitudes with a girl who then takes off her clothes and then leaves completely fixes their lives. That's how simple it is to fix girls. Right? Sure. The the seven years I've been working on this one next to me. Completely not realistic. <laughs> <laughs> While we still don't have any more members. Eh, we got one member. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say the swimming club is doing fabulous. Why are you laughing? Um, because you made a joke and I thought it was funny. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We're so lucky that you decided to join. I'd say I'm more likely to find. Oh, whoa, whoa, that sentence like we flew. We both cannot read at all today. That sentence like flew away. I'd say I'm more lucky to have found the swimming club. Anyway, are you bet. God damn it! Are you both ready for training? Absolutely! I have to say that I am. They both seem alright. After everything that happened, I must have helped in some astronomically large way that fixed everything. <laughs> What's even better is that they're really eager to get back in the pool. So the National Swimming Tournament is coming up. And there's no way any of you have qualified. Remember how I said we could make it there if we trained? <laughs> you were lying. Yeah? Are you seriously still trying to make that? Of course we are! Are you actually gonna wear swim caps? No, not at all. That's for losers. I'll enter the swimming club as contenders this year. Do you all know what you would need to do to actually qualify for nationals? Like, this is an Olympic year. I've actually been watching a little bit of the nationals. Like, there is no way in hell these people have made it. Don't crush their dreams. They don't wear swim caps. And their boobs are going to create way too much drag. I know. Uh, are you sure? I don't think I'm ready yet. You're not. Come on, Mieko, stop being humble. You're a lot better than you think you are. Thank you, Hiromi. So, it is agreed then. We'll all try and fail. I, I guess I can go along with this. I'm up for it too. Let's do it, Kaede. I've been swimming for three months. There is no way in hell I am ready for nationals. People train for that for, like, nine years. Yeah, we, you know. I, I, are you guys sure I'm ready? I don't even know how to do breaststroke yet. And I'd really like to practice breaststroke if you two would be willing to help. 
I think we're going to end the episode there, folks. <laughs> Looking at it totally. If you have enjoyed the episode, please give the video a like and do subscribe. We recently, YouTube just cut like 10% of our subs because they're dicks. Mm. Um, so please do subscribe, share if that's your thing. Otherwise, I totally do you have anything else to add. No, no, I really don't. <laughs> uh, all right, folks, next time we'll get to that breaststroke. I've been the Alchemical Rabbit, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>